foodies, welcome to another cooking episode of Food with the Fox. Of course, I'm Scooter Fox, and today I'm going to be making some porky pie meatballs. Now, these are tasty little critters. They're uh, they're cheap to make and easy to make, and with winter coming up as well, they're a real comfort food. And look, I grew up on these things. We had them all the time when I was a kid. It's, oh, one of my favourites. So. Let's get on making it, I'll show you how it's done. So what you're gonna need for this one is about 500 grams of beef mince. You want a cup of pre-cooked rice, one egg, three cloves of garlic, one medium sized onion, some mixed herbs, you need about a tablespoon of that, some salt and pepper just to season. You need a roughly about a teaspoon and a half of curry powder, a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika, some good old dead horse tomato sauce, and a can of tomato soup. Now, my mum always recommends the Rosella tomato soup. That's a must, you've got to cook it with that. If I cooked it with something else, I'd be in trouble. Um, obviously, you can if you, haven't, if you can't get the Rosella one, but that's my mum's recommendation, and uh, this is her recipe, so I'm sticking to it. Okay, so we have to start by finally chopping up our garlic and finally chopping up our onion. You want to get it nice and fine so there's not big loose chunks that are going to break up your meatballs. Now it's just about putting it all together. So get yourself a nice big bowl. In goes the mince, break it up a little bit as it goes in. In goes your onion, garlic, in with the egg, tablespoon of the mixed herbs, teaspoon and a half curry, teaspoon and a half paprika, in with your rice. Now what the rice actually does, uh, it gives it the name for porcupine basically, the porcupine meatballs. The rice, little grains of rice stick out of the, the meatballs and um, yeah, they look like little porcupines so that's how they got the name. But it has, it has an actual function in there as well. What it does is uh, it, it keeps the meatballs really nice and moist. It um, keeps them yeah, from drying out, going that real sort of dry texture. Bit of pepper, bit of salt, and a good squirt of tomato sauce. And then you just got to get your hands in there, get dirty, and mix it all up. And once you've got that all mixed up nicely, we want to start forming our meatballs. So, you don't want them too big. You want them probably golf ball or just a bit bigger than golf ball, I find works the best. Just like that. Just keep rolling them all out until you've used up all the mixture. Once you've got them all rolled out, just pop them on the plate like that. Cover them with a bit of the old cling wrap. And whack them in the fridge for at least an hour, minimum, even longer. The longer the better, that way they'll, they'll set. Uh, really nicely for when we put them into the sauce. Now for the sauce, uh, all you do is in a medium size uh, saucepan, put your full tin of tomato soup in there. Then you want to add about half the tin of warm water and put that in as well. So you've got a soup and water mix there. Um, we just want to season that up a little bit. So a little bit of salt and pepper. 
and I always like just to add a little bit of uh, the mixed herbs in there as well. Not too much, probably just about half a teaspoon. Give that a mix, bring it up to the boil, and we'll add the meatballs. The sauce has now come up to a boil. Just been stirring it every now and then, just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Time to add the meatballs in. So in they go. Give them a bit of a shake to get them down. If it doesn't cover, you can always just add a little bit more water in. Um, just to make sure the sauce goes over the top, but you see, just a bit of a shake. <sighs> Covers them up nicely. Now that all the meatballs are in and they're covered in the sauce, bring it back down to a simmer. Throw the lid on the pot and you want to simmer that for around about 45 minutes to an hour, stirring every 15 minutes. Well, here it is, all plated up. I like to have my porcupine meatballs with a bit of mash on the side. That's just sets it right off. And uh, as you can see, after just simmering away after a uh, little bit of time, oh, beautiful. Well, thanks for joining me again on another episode of Food with the Fox. Give these porcupine meatballs a go. And as always, if you like the video, hit like. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And the old Scooter Fox will see you next time there's food involved.